So all the cells in the human body contain mitochondria. And in fact, the cells in plants and fungi do as well. So what are mitochondria and why are they in all of our cells? They're in there because they're making energy and they actually allow us then to be these big multicellular organisms that we are. So mitochondria actually contain inside of them the genetic information that's required for making energy. And we were able to, for the first time, look in living cells inside of mitochondria to see how this information is organized. What we discovered is that mitochondria RNAs are packaged into tiny liquid droplets that can exchange, are dynamic, and are stable and, uh, and relatively uniformly distributed across the mitochondrial network. I was lucky enough to use a whole bunch of different microscopes. And at first I looked at mitochondria in live uh, cells and I was mesmerized by how they move and how the granules move inside them. And when I first observed a fusion of a granule um, just before Christmas two years ago, that was super exciting. So each mitochondria has to have its own genetic material so that it can make the proteins to make energy. And what we wanted to know is how do they control or manage their genetic material? So one of the things that has to happen to make those proteins is the DNA has to be turned into RNA. RNA, we knew already, was stored in little granules. These are smaller than the diffraction limit. So they're about one one thousandth the size of our hair. So really tiny. And what we wanted to know is how, does the, how do mitochondria distribute these so that each mitochondria has enough of this information to make these proteins? All of our mitochondria actually come from our mothers. And so the genetic information that's included there is also from our um, maternal lineage. Perhaps the deepest part for me though is just the mystery of mitochondria. They're, they're uh, compartments inside of our cells that somehow still have their own identity in a way. And this part of this identity is their genetic material, just as our genes make us in part who we are. And so I think that um, you know, what led us on this path in terms of trying to understand mitochondrial RNA granules and how they work is really a question of how they manage to organize themselves despite having so little information inside of them. So understanding how mitochondrial RNA granules work and what are their uh, characteristics is important to understand how gene expression is achieved in the mitochondria and therefore to understand how energy is produced. And this has big implications also in clinics since this function of mitochondria and of mitochondrial gene expression can cause defects at the level of those cells that require a lot of energy, such as brain cells, muscle, and heart cells.